While the whole world ponders the mighty power of the atom, Britain's scientists are probing its secrets to aid the peaceful pursuits of mankind. For the first time, our cameras are permitted to enter the guarded gates of three new factories. Windscale in Cumberland, Springfields near Preston, and Capenhurst in Cheshire. The scale of the work is indicated by the main electrical control room at Capenhurst. A brilliant engineer, Sir Christopher Hinton, is the managing director of the group. From the Belgian Congo, ore containing uranium reaches the Springfields factory. Only a tiny deposit of the precious mineral is gleaned from many barrels of the crude ore. To extract the uranium from the ore and to purify it is the next task. This requires several complicated crushing and filtering processes. All workers wear special protective clothing against radioactivity, but if all precautions are taken, they actually run less risk than the normal factory hand. Part of the processing involves the heating of the uranium in huge furnaces. Once this has been done, the uranium is moved in heavy containers to be cooled. The container is guided to its resting place by one man using a push-button remote control panel. At Capenhurst, laboratory workers seek new, cheaper processes for extracting and purifying the uranium. The medical world is well served by the atom factories with isotopes, which fight disease. When the day's work is done, all the workers take further strict precautions against the effects of atomic radiations. Their heavy gauntlets are first to be discarded, after which all have to wash in very hot water. The changing rooms are divided into two areas by a bench. Having pulled their boots off, the men swing their legs over to the non-contact side. Then they're able to remove their overalls and have yet another wash. One final check is made on a radiation monitor, which works like a Geiger counter and detects any harmful contamination. Britain is making rapid progress in atomic work. At wind scale, a new milestone nears completion. It is the first atomic power station to be built anywhere in the world.